Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. I'm Christy Scheib and this morning we're visiting with Amanda Hardy. She's a Henderson County's Family and Consumer Sciences agent. Good morning, Amanda. Good morning. Well, today you are going to talk to us about choosing to lease or buy a car. Amanda, what are some things to consider when making this decision? Absolutely. Well, we know that purchasing a car these days is very expensive. You're looking at at least for a brand new car, 38,000 or above. And then you put in a truck or SUV, you're gonna almost double that price. So it's very expensive. So looking at leasing or buying, there are several different, different things that you need to look at. And you really need to just write it down and see what fits your situation the best. You know, we know that there are pros and cons with both. Um, when it comes to leasing a vehicle, you typically have a lower rate of what you're going to pay. But again, it's leasing. You're not buying. You're leasing like you would be leasing an apartment or, you know, something like that. Um, buying, you own the car. So there's, there's room for trade-ins. There's room for being able to resell. Leasing, on the other hand, you can't reach but a certain mileage a year. So you have to look at that. Am I going to go over 10 to 12,000 miles a year? Then that's not going to be the, the right deal for you because you're going to end up paying more money in the end. Uh, the other thing you have to look at is with leasing, they expect you to return that car the way you left with it. So if you have small children, if you are you know working a job that you're going to get it pretty banged up or... Um, or even, uh, you know, dirty all the time and not have it where it can be brand new, leasing is probably not for you. Um, owning again, buying, you own it. You can do what you want to with it. There's no wear or tear guidelines or mileage guidelines. So, you know, you do have to look at, okay, buying may cost more in the beginning, but in the end, is it going to cost more? So there's a lot of pros and cons with this that you just have to weigh it out and see which one of these works best for me. Right. And depending on your situation, one option may be better for you. And, and if you are somebody who travels a lot, or like you said, have young children, um, it might be worth the investment to to buy. And sometimes it's even worth just sitting down and making that pros and cons list, like you said. Absolutely. Because that, that is really, you know, everybody's different and everybody is going to have different needs, you know, and, um, and leasing might be the best bet for you. It may not. And those are just things you have to weigh out. The one nice thing about leasing is you do get a very nice vehicle and then you can get another one once you've, you know, overcome that, you know, gone through the time. So, you know, do you want those nice vehicles repeating or do you want just to own a car and, and you, you know, have it for, for as long as you want? There's just so many things that, you know, you need to look at to really know which, what's best for you. Yes. And some people might really enjoy that that option to switch out and try a new vehicle. Maybe they do want to buy down the road, but they're still trying to decide what vehicle that they would want. Amanda, if someone is watching and they want more information, how can they access that? Absolutely. They can contact the local extension office um, in any of the counties in Kentucky. Yes, we have a lot of uh, financial education resources on various topics. Um, I know that we have one on this particular topic, choosing to lease or buy a car. Amanda, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for joining us today on the Farm and Home Show, and we'll see you next time.